zum ersten Einzelwettbewerb der neuen Saison, Victory Press Conference for the first single competition in the new season. We're still waiting, of course, for several points. I'm sure you will be here in a moment. I am very glad to welcome, after his very first World Cup victory, Daniel Andrei Tande. Congratulations. And Peter Beers, also congrats for your second place. Daniel, um, yes, how do you feel today? I think it's something very special for you. Yeah, it's uh, uh, it's really fun uh, and special uh, moment for me. So, so I'm enjoying this uh, moment. Um, did you expect <laughs> that you could start like this in the new season? I know you had a pretty good summer already here in Klingenthal um, with the Continental Cup. Um, yeah, was there any expectations that it would be this good? Uh, my goals for the start of the winter season was to try to continue like I jumped in the summer and I knew from uh, the competition here and from the competition in Norway, the Norwegian Championship, that uh, my jumping was good enough to be at least top 10, so I was hoping for that. Ja, er hatte sich äh, vorgenommen, so weiter zu springen, wie er im Sommer gesprungen ist, äh, beim Continental Cup und auch bei den norwegischen Meisterschaften. Und er ist davon ausgegangen, dass es reichen könnte für die Top Ten. Und insgesamt ist er natürlich sehr, sehr glücklich über dieses Ergebnis. Um, I think it's, it's the first uh, weekend of the season, as always, a little bit thrilling. Nobody knows um, about the competitors, where they are standing. Uh, what do you think, where is Team Norway right now, compared to the other nations? I think yesterday was pretty unlucky with the team competition, but after today's competition, what do you think? Uh, yeah, we were a bit unlucky yesterday, but uh, today is a better day. Uh, still, uh, not all the guys are jumping up to their maximum, so at the moment, I think uh, the team is quite uh, strong, but it's still hard to say since it's just the first weekend. Okay. Yeah, um, what the Norwegian Mannschaft betrifft, war das gestern natürlich etwas unglücklich mit der Disqualifikation. Er glaubt auch nicht, dass alle schon auf ihrem absoluten Top-Level springen. Trotzdem ist es natürlich eine sehr starke Mannschaft, aber es war auch nur das erste Wochenende der Saison und insofern ist es da auch schwierig, irgendwelche Prognosen zu machen. Um, Peter, uh, congrats again. Um, what about your uh, performance today? How satisfied are you? Um, my performance was really good. Um, I started good already in the uh round and then I think, um, I continued my good performance during the fourth competition. Um I got to congrats Daniel uh, for a great second jump and also the first one. Um, I must I have to say that uh, my second jump wasn't the perfect one like the first one but still I'm really satisfied with the second jump. Ähm, ja, er ist sehr zufrieden mit seiner Leistung heute, hat es schon in der Qualifikation angedeutet, konnte dann seine sehr gute Leistung fortsetzen. Der erste Sprung war er nicht ganz so zufrieden, aber vor allem dann ähm, er freut sich natürlich über den zweiten Platz. Um, again, I guess we talked already on uh, Friday. Um, you also said you don't know, uh, you don't really know where your team is standing right now. Now, yeah, we had the first competition weekend. What do you think? How strong is Team Slovenia on Friday? You said you don't know. Uh, I'm trying to say that I don't know, and now I can say that you saw tomorrow, where, no, so yesterday, where the uh, team Slovenia is. I think we're really strong right now, um, especially uh, Domen and uh, Yuri are really close uh, to the top, and then also Lanishek and uh, Robby Kranitz made really good jump in the qualification, but then he was unlucky with the equipment control. Um, so we're really strong, but um, we still have to improve on that. Ja, also er glaubt, dass die slowenische Mannschaft sehr stark ist. Man hat gestern schon gesehen, heute ähm, vor allem äh, Juri und Domen, die da noch sehr stark gesprungen sind. Äh, Robert Kranitz hatte ein bisschen Pech bei der Materialkontrolle. Ähm, aber man hat natürlich auch immer noch sehr viel zu tun. Um, maybe just one sentence. Um, are you proud today of your little brother with this um, World Cup debut? Uh, yeah, I'm surprised with the Dolan's results. Um, I wasn't expecting that he would be able to be uh, mentally so stable during the whole week. Um, it was quite a lot of pressure on him, but uh, he's young. 
he had he had uh, Mr. Mazur had no expectations. He had no expectations. So um, he he did really great job. Ja, ähm, er freut sich natürlich auch sehr für seinen kleinen Bruder. Er hat nicht erwartet, dass er so stabil springt äh, das ganze Wochen über, auch Wochenende über, auch dass er ja, mental so stark ist, ähm, das hier so durchzuziehen. Er, hat, er ist noch sehr jung, ähm, es gibt eigentlich keine große Erwartungshaltung und trotzdem steht man natürlich unter Druck und ja, er findet, dass er einen sehr, sehr guten Job gemacht hat. Gibt es weitere Fragen an dieser Stelle an Daniel Antifande und Peter Bills? Any further questions? Nein, dann thank you very much and all the best for the season. Thanks.